What is up, everybody? Welcome to another bonus episode of Can't Stop Snapping. Teddy, I know I stole your thunder there for a second, but I'm sorry. I got to go on and say thank you guys so much for being Patreon supporters, all that good stuff. And if you're not in the Patreon already and you're watching this a little bit in the future, once it goes live to the public in a few weeks, what are you waiting for? You can hop in, get exclusive cool stuff like this in Patreon at patreon.com slash can't stop snapping. But today we are playing on the community voted both on Patreon as well on Twitter. Uh, we kind of pulled uh, pulled the community, see what they wanted to see if they were to look at some bonus episodes like this in our new show called Backseat Gaming Loki Edition. Loki so what edition. are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing today? Feeling the show, man. She is a beauty. Been on top of the meta for a while. Basically ever since Loki released. Uh, this has been a top meta deck, and it's also been one of the higher skill ceiling decks. A lot of evolutions have gone through the deck. Do you run Collector? Now do you not run Collector? Ms. Marvel has come into the list. Gladiator has come in. You're going to see some new faces, some old standbys. I think that we have kind of distilled down like this is the meta core. Um, yeah. We were in pretty tight agreement on that. That you run Quinjet, Snowguard, Zabu, Agent Coulson, Gladiator, Shang-Chi, Ms. Marvel, Loki, Devil Dinosaur, and then you have three open tech slots, which is actually, I think, one of the strongest parts of the deck, is that right. you have space for tech cards to make your meta reads. Do you have any comments on, like, this core? Uh, I mean, I think it's really cool that Gladiator has found a home here, because, again, it's just, you want nice, interesting things for tempo, and Gladiator's proven to be something along those lines. And Loki kind of takes a page out of Sarah Control in some instances, because Loki yeah. himself is a cost reduction threat. And of course you have Shang-Chi and you have stuff like that uh, to be able to, and, and Zabu as well, um, to act as both tech cards and other forms of cost reduction. Right, we, um, we have great. tech cards in Chi, but it's like a core tech card that everyone Right, wants. well that's just the state of the game, I suppose, right? It is. Yeah, exactly. But being able to leverage things like Snow Guard and Quinjet is super great. Uh, more often than not, like yes, the main focus of this is to utilize things like Snow Guard and Agent Coulson to fill your hand rather than yeah. utilize those cards, but you have the option of doing so. And that's the beauty of the deck. Exactly. But then also just the flexibility in Hawk and Bear for those mm -hmm. specific locations that just wins you the game. Oh, it feels so good. We have for those three slots, I mean, you know what? Let's act, let's talk our side deck and then let's do the autofill and just see what it gives us. And then yeah. we'll, we'll say what we're actually going to play. But we built out a side deck for us, which ended up being a full deck. Uh, don't you know, play this options. on its own. Just These are just a bunch of different options. So this is your meta read. One of my favorites, Mirage, just gives you... She's a mirror match breaker. She gives you more info about the opponent. She fills your hand. I think there's some cards coming out that could easily take her spot, but she's been a mainstay for me. Shadow King, just another versatility in a tech card, especially if Destroy is popular. Old Guard Collector. I think he might be one of the most tenuous cards that we have on the list right now in terms of how little he brings. What do you think? Yeah, he doesn't do the, you know, broken Loki, give him plus nine power or plus seven power in a yeah. single swing kind of thing and becomes a two nine. Though, with cards coming out this week, um, in actually two days, being Mockingbird, and then later on next month, we're getting Valentina. We're starting to get right. a few more cards that care about either having things that don't start in your deck like generated shield cards or another shield agent essentially in valentina generating cards that we might see another version of the deck come back into the fray with collector and of course in that version you might want to bring in something like angela elsa kitty pride that way you have like two forms of the axie in which you can buff the collector both from your shield cards that generate stuff like you know uh uh what's his name uh Oh my God, Agent Coulson. I, I kept thinking yeah. Corvus. My brain was like, Corvus, 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 Corvus. Agent Coulson. Corvus. Yeah, Agent Corvus. Coming in Just with waiting. the glaive. Uh, Agent Glaive. <laughs> yeah, so I think that Collector kind of suffers from the Bloodstone curse of like people remember how good he was and he's not that good anymore, but it, in a, as a, up against all other two costs, he's still pretty good. And now maybe he gets buffed in the future. Sure, sure. How would you feel about a Collector back to a 2-0, but plus two every time? You mean hand. back to a 2-0 plus 2 because that was the beta collector. It will be yeah. busted as heck. Never again. Never again. What, about, what about a 2 you, of course, negative no. 5? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I'm in. Uh, Jeff just like always flexible, always yeah. an option. Quake, shockingly good and really good here. Just being able with 
two axes of location interaction is because you have snow guard in the main version rogue is your uh ongoing hate if that's the way the meta is trending and we might yep. be seriously considering that today cosmos mostly just protection for devil dino mm -hmm. mobius is for if a lot of energy cheats are running well, around or a lot of mirror matches to go back to cosmos um, really be, quick because yeah, yeah. i know mobius has a lot of things going on for him yeah you could also use cosmo in those bad matchups in which you really don't want to play uh what's it called um uh gladiator and like against hella for example right there's too many right. big things to pull so stopping gladiator on top of which not as common but sometimes maybe you need to play colson for the power or uh you know snow guard for the power or at least just to have those options in the flank lanes to proc uh miss marvel i guess colson and cosmo wouldn't work in that sense so this is specifically in that instance for uh, snow guard but you don't want to fill your hand because you need to rely on a card you're drawing next turn niche things like that give a little bit of extra lines and flexibility so cosmo can't be overlooked and of course shutting down opponents hella discard and using it as an offensive tool rather than just a defensive is a nice meta call depending on what's going on oh yeah hope summers just because she is hope summers enough said yep. super giant married to a Lyoth specifically you get a nice plan b here of a high tempo play with uh, one drop into zabu into miss marvel into super giant you gain initiative you clock him with the Eliath and it's lights out and then iron lad because he's iron lad i mean the, the being able to fish for loki or some other key hits in the deck is awesome um and he's a good stat line just all around like a little bit weaker than gladiator but then you're getting bonus abilities rather than a potentially negative ability it's very nice. right pretty much every hit in the deck is phenomenal except for maybe gladiator himself uh yeah. having a six power uh, with that effect now last thing before we talk about what we're going to put into the deck i want to go over mobius one more time the reason mobius oh, right. is so impactful in this deck as a meta call because right now if you look at the meta you see a lot of zabu and a decent amount of sarah especially in control decks being able you also to... see destroy it shuts down death and True. you see thanos and he's hitting scar that's fair if as you well. see high evo he's hitting she hulk mm -hmm. <laughs> and then if there's a pixie or a mr negative it's just he wins the game and i i dude i my favorite thing with mobius is a turn to elysium which happens really common for me for some reason and i'm like oh i get to play him on turn two That's... and then just deny my opponent but then on top of that in those matchups where they're, you're shutting down their tools for uh generating extra mana or cheating on mana as we go through the so we're getting mobius mirage and rogue as our three extra for, according to the uh the auto they are That's some of my favorites i yeah. i have no objections actually right uh, unless I'm, you want to cool showcase the Eliath kind of uh, you can, can run Eliath whether or not games. you have super giant but if you run super giant you will always also run Eliath. yeah and at that point i think i'd even run maybe iron lad with that that'd be my trio the if you're doing the super it. giant thing yeah i could see it i could see it um but yeah mobius is great for the mirror breaker as well if you go against other loki decks and being able to say you know mobius into turn four loki i get all the, your cards cost reducted and then you have no cost reduction your sarah doesn't work your zaba doesn't work etc that is so impactful and i think it's it's almost mobius is almost that 10th card of the core like you have nine and it's really yeah. almost 10 he's that good in the list so do you think there's enough ongoing to justify rogue or do we want to get some location well, interaction what are, what are we looking wait? to hit with rogue um if I were well, to... we're looking to shut down the um, enemy Ms. Marvels, which are being pretty popular in my meta pocket mm -hmm. with the um, Black Knight decks. And I'm also looking to be able to shut down the Living Tribunal decks. So if I look at uh, right now, a lot of the... You're post-infinite, right? Oh, yeah. So let's look at post-infinite stats. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff going on in post infinite that i can really see if we're ongoing i mean you get at morbius that's hilarious for the discard matchups uh it is. If, if you see some dark hawk that's great um but, but i don't uh, i don't see much devil dino isn't thanos a good amount so there's that yeah uh not really much to hit against hella uh miss marvel if you see her that's good too yeah I, I think rogue's fine to try for now i do think with the amount of hope summers decks though 
and the amount of decks that are like leaning on just raw power like essentially the the, the sentry and nihilus stuff for example um or like i see like a some pixie stuff um discard in general sans morbius there's not that much i think you're really close to 50 50 on what you see so i, I could see okay. it's easy to cut him um also i see quake has been brought in for uh for rogue i do like quake so i mean it'd be quake or Goliath. like quake rogue Goliath is kind of my personal rotation right. for that slot so well, we have and quake just happens to be the cheap one three, which two means that she gets played more so than less yeah yeah, I'd, I'd be between Quake and Elias, personally. All right, let's give it a roll. All right. And for those of you that saw the previous episode uh, with uh, Thanos, you're noticing it's a different format. Last time we did a more like just talking through it, a little podcast episode, essentially, um, doing like a slideshow to accompany it kind of thing. This time, I think it's a lot more interactive to actually point out lines that we might have brought up with the Thanos one. Now you can actually see the lines play out. And we can still have our general discussion of like what are good matchups, what are bad matchups. Um, Teddy, are there any bad matchups for Loki? Let's play Snap. Hit us with the radio <laughs> announcer. There are bad matchups. We do not like Hella. Uh, we do not like some of the all in combo decks. Specifically, Discard is a pretty bad matchup for us. We actually do fine against Destroy, even though that is a heavy combo matchup, mm -hmm. just because Destroy is we is reciprocal power on Null and Death, and so when we steal those, we wreck them. Yeah. Um, some of like the Living Tribunal, like the Wombo combo options, or if someone is a Wong on go, like on reveal deck, and we don't choose Cosmo, we lose. So there's little little tricks like that. Opponent has shown nothing. I like that for us. I might even play this Ironheart plus Snow Guard. It's three but we could also heads. fish. The, the Agent Coulson has been set up so beautifully with both Zabu Quinjet, so mm. that might be too much to pass up as well. Yeah. What are you feeling? I, I'm thinking Coulson um, on either either mid or right. I do love having this back pocket Quake for potentially them having uh, you know to flip Isle Silence over to Campbell Eye or even over to Stark Tower if we have no need for those anymore. Yeah, this is why Quake is so good, because then we can also open up Ms. Marvel down mid for us. Exactly. I don't think we can... You might be able to snap on just Quinjet Zabu, though, and they've played nothing, you know? Yeah. I would say for this, We're at. Um, for most future games, Okay. for that reason I'm there, sure. maybe we, we say this is where you will snap, but let's not snap. Let's not scare people away so we can get oh, proper... my cubes, my cubes, Brad. I'm oh, a try I know, hard at I hard. know you want to grind and climb, but you're already... Do you want to... Do you want this to play straight through? Like, we're going to go raw footage, or do you want to cultivate our options? I feel like we can go raw footage, because, I mean, most of it's going to be, like, this All is right, just boys. the ADHD TikTok thing where we have background stuff playing for This is the honest, honest gameplay. We took a cube. Yep. And uh, didn't know what they were doing. Uh, the, I wonder if they even had a turn three play. It has to be impactful uh, to be played on turn three, like a Electro Corvus type of thing. Um, right. But that's want to be able to catch up, right? When you see yeah. that both energy cheats are set up, but yeah. So, I mean, talking through our reasoning, right? I think we fleshed it out pretty well. We had our energy cheats established. We had plays to move forward, and we even saw some end game plays with the quake tricks. So we were very happy. Uh, this might be a turn one snap, honestly, with onslaughts. Yeah. Mindstone. Mind up against goblin. Thanos. Thanos matchup is pretty good for us. That one's a skill matchup, in my opinion, on how it goes. Hell's Kitchen will feed us our Snow Guard. Beautiful. Three snow guard. We'll double down. This will Ooh, mean that I can play Loki. Loki. I can play Snow Guard plus Loki next turn, which is crazy. So I probably snap to that. Yeah. And I end. This is early enough. I don't think they've seen anything. They're just judging the, the strength of their hand versus Quinjet on Onslaughts. They, they have to assume that it's Loki, but uh, they don't know 100% yet. <laughs> and now we put the fear in them. Ah, the answer. Okay. That's good. That's good they had that. So now, do we pivot to Miss Marvel mid and then Snow Guard Loki on four? Fascinating. Okay. I would have pivoted before seeing that. If it was a normal location, I would have gone Miss Marvel and then Snow Guard Loki. Now, now that I know that Altar of Death is here, we might not play Loki at all because we have Snow Guard to give us access to Hawk. Alternatively, and then we can though, open up that location. We also can still do the same line of Miss Marvel mid Loki into Snow Guard, though. Just flip them around. Less hits for Loki, but you still get to keep the Hawk. True. 
Thanos with hope was brutal. But the thing is that they have already, yeah, they've already got their card stuck in here, right? Right. So we could go all in on what what would Thanos have? He might have Vision um, and Jeff. Vision and Jeff that could both get over there. And uh, we can amp any... up so much energy right now. This might be the time to push. Would you rather have but... the Snow Guard stuff switch for Loki for more hits there or have a guaranteed pull of the Hawk? Exactly. That's why it's a skill matchup and it's a beautiful dance. We have Quake as well. I'm going to trust in top deck Quake and push on Loki right now. All right. Because we get, what, two more draws? We have a 50% chance that we draw Quake and then can still, like, do some funny screw-up things to them. We hit. Yeah. Nope, okay. Um, None of the things we wanted. Can't be the best every time. And the Space Stone, so they'll just move. Uh, they'll move somebody Jeff else down. on over. Yeah. Mm, Mr. Mobius. We don't nah, 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 so nah, nah, this Magneto. Nah, nah. I could see them moving Hope Summers over, possibly, but at the very least, Hope Summers getting pulled left wouldn't that just kind of give them less chance of reduct? Oh well, I mean this is turn five. They're they're gonna get the hits now anyway. Yeah, no, I definitely mm. want to pull left right now, and then we can either establish Hope. Or we could smash somebody over here for even extra energy because it would be this Mobius. way. This way we're up to eight, and I can play two of these just to overpower them on mid, right? Right. Well, actually, Scar's the only downside be even is if what? Scar's yeah, Scar will be so cheap. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a two, a four, and then I could play whatever we top deck or something yeah. else like that. So right. I, I'm pretty good with this, especially if they do fall into our trap of playing left. It looks like they we have might a have one and three. Throw X. Yeah, and we can still find Quake. So much energy. That's a <laughs> lot. But they energy. didn't play anything on. But Hope. they played left, which like a fool. Oh yes, that's the one we wanted. That's amazing. Light them up, baby. And Hope gets pulled. Now we have one super flow. Now this is where uh, the alliance uh, would be clutch. Yep. It would. But also, Quake just wins the dang oh! game. <laughs> uh, pretty, yeah, I mean, so Quake first. It has to win, just, right? It flops yeah, these. Just blob Scar, right? Yeah, Blob. Well, Blob is five, bro. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Math. We don't get the Hit free cool stuff. Okay, we'll do that. one Because here's the thing even if he has some tricksy control play, it would go mid. Now. Uh, if you really cared about the, the mid play in this case and we weren't winning super flow, I could see uh, a switching of around stuff, but uh, yeah. In a, turn order or actually playing mid? Uh, playing like maybe a scar mid, for example. Oh, they have the shang see? ready. The, the, that was it. They had the control and we, we shut them up. But that was also because they had we had priority because we won left. So in, in the instance, if we didn't win left, they would have priority. Shang Chi wouldn't matter, and then you could like sneak Scar and mid kind of thing. Exactly. Oh, it feels good to be good. Goaded. Yeah, like this is one of the most, and you've already mentioned it, it's one of the most skill expressive, skill intensive decks in the entire game. I would say it goes like in order: Loki, then Thanos, I believe, and then probably Move are the three hardest decks to play in the game. <laughs> yep. Like, and I know people usually just like kind of go, uh, lol, move. Move's hard to play, right. dude. It's, it's like, it is. It's, the it's, thing is oh, that then the bounce. order of like, the order of like the high roll payoff is like Thanos, then Loki, then move. So move is both hard and not good. And then Thanos and Loki kind of, yeah. they're just right there. But maybe bounce is harder than move. I don't know. They're both. No, it's not harder. Definitely not harder. Was this the mirror? And we specifically got MMM. As long as he shows up. For well, the Mia Breaker. Shang Chi's nice. Uh, if they're doing like Devil Dino stuff like that. How much do we care about? Probably just rolling Zabu because then we can play Ms. Marvel. Yeah. I want Quinjet. Okay, hang on. Hmm. What is this? this? Is this Thanos? That doesn't work like that anymore, friend. How many cards they got? What? 
Six, normal deck. Uh, Winjet cheats, cheats. I actually like, so hear me out. For Hotel Inferno popping up, I actually like going Mirage, Quinjet, both on right. Get we get a lot hands. of information as to what they're doing. Right, and you get and the lowest cost card, reduce its yep. cost with Quinjet. Um, right. You also reduce the Hawk and the Bear, give you options to even, um, you know, like kind of play around with those. You can play both of them next turn. Uh, they either get any of these. They get any of them. <laughs> right. That was Quake, our Quake, I believe. Quake gone. Yeah. Uh, it's the mirror. Hey. It's a very, very Mantis. funky, very funky Loki deck. Ooh. I respect it, but we'll beat it. Do you snap to this? We killed their Loki. I mean, you probably do, and they probably leave. So. Yep. They I mean, the deck will basically pilot itself out to this point, because you've got Ms. Marvel putting down pressure. You have Devil Dinosaur next turn. You try and find your control card. Keep your hand size high. Make sure you win Mojo World. Now he's in. Ooh, imagine Ooh, a world where Zob is a 1-4. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, well, imagine a world where you have a double discount on forecasts. That's actually a real world. We had that. Mm, do you want to go straight to Devil Dino Knee now, or do you want to play Colson Bear? I like I mean, going... You got to go Colson, right? Well... You no, no, think about it. Colson is giving me a one cost, four cost. Oh, you're right. You're That's absolutely too right. good. You're right. That's too good to pass up right now. Now, does the bear work on the Hotel Inferno? Doesn't, right? Uh, no. It will, wait, will it work for them? No. Okay. Dude, the way you can think about it, if you guys watching are ever confused, is it if you could put on reveal at the beginning of a text and uh, it would make sense for that card, then it will work, otherwise it won't. Shang-Chi won't kill, or, or won't allow us to play Devil Dino, but we can pull Gladiator or Loki. <laughs> Is the Gladiator actually like a problem? It's probably fine, right? Like he's, what's he gonna have? It might be a Devil well, Dino, but I don't think he has any other high end. How much do you like, uh, Ronan left. Well, he's definitely going to keep his hand size high. We flip first. My only worry is he plays a couple cheap cards. Drops. The, how many does he have to play to Devil Dino dip out? He has You'd to, play, have to play, three. play Yeah, three cards. Which is entirely possible, which means we would have to contest the mid. Okay. I think. So I would. I think you still play Shang. Yeah, I do too. And then just. It can be either things. Uh, now, actually, Snowguard oh, actually can't. is... Uh, well, it's interesting, right? Because it cancels the plus five from Ms. Marvel, but it gains the plus five from Nidavler. So it's just like plus three. Right. And also, if we had anything bigger in uh, there, it'd be interesting if they tried the Shang-Chi, the Nidavler stuff. But um, Right. Do you have any threes over there? Can you do Mo Mobius? No. They're both threes. Uh... I would just so leave. I'll, I'll play it, but... Okay. One card A left. We love to see it. Card. We win mid. Is it like um, Dr. D Why would you moon girl into a single card? Yeah, I'm confused. Is it Kang? Oh, oh, please. <laughs> it would be Kang, right? This deck, their deck's already wonky, right? Yeah, why not? Uh, Snowguard just broke the game. Congrats. <laughs> oh, Devil Dino. Double Devil Dino. Classic. Classic Double Devil Still Dino. Still almost one left, by the way. <laughs> right, by, by a point. So I think that was like, if you're an early collection player and you get Loki, mm -hmm. this deck you saw is relatively competitive without yeah. all of our series five high end. Like you're just using the moon girl, the white queen, and you squeeze Zabu in if you can, and then you, you play for some different combos. Now you mentioned, you know, having a deck like this for an early collection if you just got Loki. How much do you prioritize for those that are in early collections that aren't series three complete, for example, and are lacking a decent amount of like series four, series five cards? Yep, How yep. high up do you rank Loki as like a, a targetable thing for, you know, tokens or spotlight cash kind of thing? 
Right. So if you want to be competitive and you want to follow just like meta advice, I would put it very high. I'd say Thanos and then Loki, frankly. I think those are two incredible decks and they've been evergreens for so long. You can really feel safe about investing in them. On a broader scale, like play what you love. You know, if something else is speaking to you, definitely go to it. Anything with card draw is so good for us. So honestly, this being the hot location is going to make us look great. Um, yeah. Oh, there's Black Knight, though. Don't let the 408s uh, fool you guys. This guy's one of the best players in the world. Um, so here's the Black Knight deck, which was one of the reasons we used to be carrying... I don't know, what was it? We had, like, a tech card for them at one point, didn't we? Was it the Rogue? We said the Rogue was playable here. Um, If they're playing, like, Morbius and stuff, but, like, it's Black Knight, they're likely uh, not. So Yeah, this is... It's going to be a hard matchup overall. Because our Loki is tough to hit combos. Now, we'll see yes, what we take up but here. all it takes is a stealing a Black Knight of theirs, a discard outlet, mm. and a big card, okay. which sounds like a lot. It does, but it's not as much as you think, or it's not as impossible as you think. This is another one of the reasons that it's a bad matchup for us, because they're able to run the Mobius, which shuts us up. Yeah, but I'm looking at her hand right now. I don't feel particularly excited about what we have going on. I'm almost willing to just slam down Loki. I know we don't get cost reduction, but how confident do you feel in this hand? Especially against the snap? No, I don't love it. Like, like I'd this rather is good, but we can't set her up now. We have to hold her till the very end of the game. And then we can't play her plus like another uh, three or four costs because we don't have Zabu and they have a Mobius down. So I'd rather yeah, roll the so dice you... and hopefully get like a nasty like blade, you know. Right. Whatever. If you were being really cagey, I think you would retreat here, but we'll Agreed. roll the dice and see what happens. Teddy is putting content above it all else. We still get a so Shang-Chi. We get a Sarah, which, you know, which doesn't do work. as much. And they get a 20 power blade. So yeah, that's why... That's yeah. why you'd retreat. <laughs> uh, no. I'm trying to think. Um, all right. Play now, me I mean, hold on. Is it worthwhile to... Because that blade's probably going to go right, correct? Yeah. Is no, it, it's Sarah. Oh, it's... Well, we, then we don't he, know if he have it Sarah exactly. now. Well, he can't use Sarah either. Yeah, then he probably goes blade. Um, I like having the Magneto set up for next turn somehow. Uh, I wish we could miss Marvel right and care about doing it mid, but I feel like the Magneto wants to go mid, right? That you have that's the open spot. You pull Mobius yeah, power away from Mobius the flanks. You pull power Lady away Sif. from the flanks, right? And probably exactly. the blade as well. So I think Gladiator is the, the best play. Pray you don't hit anything like crazy big that, that makes you want to cry. Yeah. Jeff, yep, that's fire. perfect. Getting the flexibility of Jeff out feels good. So no Sarah, that's a blade. I actually feel fairly okay about this Magneto mid. Uh, my cubes. <laughs> oh, you're fine. We have you have priority. Yeah. And if they play anything, the fact that I have priority almost makes it worse. Well, no. Because then if he plays anything down, but he's not gonna play anything here. He has right. any blade. He knows that I have a one in. What a forty-five percent chance that I got Magneto. We locate on five. That's, yeah. Um, I I think so, I think this isn't that bad of a stay. It, it feels like a retreat in some ways, but this Magneto is so powerful, and be able to attack the flanks and not care about mid because they're probably going to play a card mid. If that if that is the Ghost Rider, oh, we're dead. What if it was? Oh, Infinati. I like don't I think that's a bad thing. I really don't. Bad, bad matchup. Because it's a 50 50 of where they put the Ghost Rider. It's not like it's a guarantee they You're put it mid. You're saying if left. they put it mid? Yeah, they put it mid. Yeah, no, uh, yeah it is. It is, right? Because in the world where they wanted to play mid because they were behind there by a lot, then it would it would make total sense to Magneto on mid and then force them to overcommit. But on their side it was a smart idea because you have basically insurmountable power on the right that cannot be messed with and then you put down the power on left the only thing that would have stopped him there was the Eliath, really now based on the meta that we're seeing 
I know you like Mirage. How how impactful do you think she is in the list? How impactful is Mirage? Mm -hmm. Like if you were to have if, I, I if have someone to think is in, in that terms early, of comparison, well, someone's I like in that Mirage. Early collection, right? And they're oh, you're saying to, to be able to flesh out the deck? Yeah. Uh, no, you don't need her. You can just replace her with Sentinel. But you, would you ever Until suggest you... like they save up towards her or like? No, just get her when you get her. Quake is good later on. Like, I know it's a tempo but thing. But she could be this good isn't... now. Because then I go into Coulson Loki and I have hand size. Right. You That's know? fair. So I, I like this. I think I also honestly other... like keeping the vault because if I play Ms. Marvel, I like closing it down before the final turn. Mm. So I'm going to flip these two positions. Even though we haven't seen what this is. And now it's Space Throne. It's, uh... Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay. I don't want to play here because I know I have to play their turn five. I could play here to open up like tempo, initiative. I could also play mid because I know vault will close. And it closes on four, remember, because Avengers Compound forces us out on five. Right. But I think we go here and I might honestly go Loki mid as yeah, well. Yeah, I was thinking establish your next two turns mid. Establish um, dominance. These are fun. Ah. Ooh, what the uh, Corvus also Loki. Loki? Corvus Loki ramping. Fun, fun, okay. fun. I mean, now I kind of want to play it. I I actually really like this hand. Yeah, but don't we want to play their deck? We got Quinjet. Yeah, but like... That Miss Marvel feels really good. Yeah, yeah, but when he hellas, I still die. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know, you just play Hella and I die. Yeah, but like, what does stealing their deck do to accomplish beating their Hella? I can beat their Hella with my Hella. If I've all right, well, I, I hope you get the Hella. All right. Odin, Infinite, Corvus, no! Vision, Ruffin, and Ooh, Is it our birthday? gonna be a sweet sweet infinite my friends a sweet sweet so now you can get down, uh like ronin potentially yeah and like Do i corvus here and hope it doesn't hit it no because next turn you can play two one fives just play zabu right you can play next it, turn is then infinite. It's infinite corvus if exactly not that Ronan's going to be that big. Should he just be Vision? I mean, my uh, man's... How many cards do they have in hand? They have five now. They, they probably don't play too many X. Yeah, this is like a, like a on-curve, one-at-a-time kind of thing. Like They're probably playing their own Vision. But what was Loki for? A backup plan? Okay. <laughs> just in case your hand is bad and you discarded Hela. <laughs> they're playing Agatha as well. Like, I've noticed these people are always honest. So, this is what it is. I, I would love to see. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I told you, I told you. They're always honest. I love it. Leech helping us. So, out. Hang on, hang on. They discarded Infinite Loki. Brutal. I mean, but I think you just have to Infinite left. Left? Yeah, because I like I like the idea of just going Infinite left. Going up by 10 20. power here. And then just put in 10 there. I do like that. Because I'm going to go down on Ronan at least a little bit. Um, but what happens when they Shang left? Because they know they already have a Ronan target. Do they have Shang in their deck? If it's Agatha, they probably do. Why? I don't know. Maybe they can I mean, this, this deck already doesn't make any sense. They might not be able to fit it. You're right. I, we saw Loki discarded, Infinite got discarded. We know they have Ronin, Vision, uh, Odin. I hate dying to Hella, Brad. When he Hella's on right, and then it pulls Infinite mid and Loki right, we'd still lose. Yeah, and if you but, switch I mean, it, these it's around... Just, it, it's just dancing around where you think Hella might spawn an Infinite, right? Or he might just retreat, have retreat queued up because he didn't draw Hella. We don't know. Yeah. It's, it's really just banking that he doesn't get enough mid to beat us, and then Infinite's going to pose enough power. But that's the thing, is Infinite could pose enough power on this side. Good. If he does have Shang. You can trust your own intuition. Oh, so happy. 
But hella? if that's if all if all that is is Shang, you win. Me oh, there's the hella. To me. Loki, right? Ah, if not go. right, let's go! <laughs> Obnoxious yeah. celebration for no snap. Do you think would you, would you snap there? I mean, we knew Hella was coming. No, because I was, hate losing uh, potential A cubers to RNG. I do too. I do too. I maybe should have snapped it. I don't know if you'd stay though. I think I think a, any Hella player having stay. discarded Infinite stays hundred percent of the time. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, Not it's because it's correct, but because they 31, see big number and they say, ah. 31 power final turn. They just yeah. don't get to control where it goes. So, And sometimes they can. Yeah, fortunate for us, did not land mid. We've been really sad. Okay, we got to be careful with the one down. Zabu straight into Loki. You're no oh, especially with Abby draw. I mean, with Abby draw. Yeah. This, well, we snap? also don't know what they're doing yet. So if we have no information, it might just be Zabu into Coulson as well. No, no, no. Which then, Part but the that, cards. but that opens up. The deck Snowguard. is called Loki. We're backseat I, gaming. Yes, Loki. I know. But then that opens up on turn four, Snowguard Loki, which gives you more hits. I'm already hitting on five. And also notice, like, our good cards, Ms. Marvel, Devil Dino, Shang, Gladiator, all in deck. Space to top deck, good stuff. Okay. This stuff is kind of mush, right? Yeah. Snow Guard on Shadowland is, or, like, the bear on Shadowland is cute, but that's not what we want. This way we get to preserve good top decks. So that's, like, an extra reason, I think, for putting Loki down right now. I can't wait for Scar to just ruin everything. Mm -hmm. It's going to pull down something stupid. Something so good for them, something oh, so bad the for Dino us. There's the that we didn't want to draw. John, Rang, G, Iron Man, Vision, Marvel, Storm. So this is just lockdown. We're going to yeah. Okay, I feel good about this. I feel good about this grab. Iron Lad, G, Vision, Marvel. Yeah, especially when we top deck our own. Oh, nah. Didn't top deck our own. Um, okay, Vision's later. Yeah, I think Iron so Lad is Marvel like, now is good. But here? Or here? No, you do it mid because you, you're adding five power right. Instead of four power, right? And then we can get vision there later. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. If you need to. Otherwise, vision is just a four eight. They he's got just, the zapper. They can put Look down. Right. Uh, and there's also the potential of hitting your own. Well, you can't hit Miss Marvel if she's mid. Uh, you can hit Mobius, which is funny. They have a Zabu. You can hit. No, no, we can't hit Miss Marvel. Miss, this is their Miss Marvel. We still have a Marvel. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying it's not going to do anything because you have two four costs in the mid. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but overall this is fine. Is it snappable? Probably. Oh, These are the deep questions we love asking. Sorry, I, I hate the rope snap, but we were genuinely talking it out. But unfortunately, until they give they us accept. the undo, the undo turn button. That is the best way to play the game at higher ranks. So that, to me, telegraphs that they have either Jeff or Vision in hand. A hundred percent. Should be Vision. Now, we have to show Vision now. Yep. And this gives us uh, tempo so the Eliath doesn't potentially do anything stupid. Correct. Because we know they run that, too. Doom Ooh, Doom. All. Nice, nice. That also doesn't do enough, though, to gain priority. So we still have priority against them. That's tough with the Shangs. I won't do anything. Yeah. I mean, we can throw Vision to the side. I think Gladiator and You could mid. replace with Gladiator, and you could throw Shang down just to get, like, the edge. I actually know it's no, like you, um, you Shang do. here. Quinjet, no, that breaks it. Isn't it better it to go Gladiator this. mid because they're more likely to fill mid? Probably. You, and then you just this. throw their Shang left and Quinjet left just to put five power and be like, look, I mean. No, this breaks five power on the uh, that's right. overlapping. So this is unplayable, but this is playable. Well, so this our, way we're at, I mean, uh, at six. We'd still though. be behind here. That's the yeah. problem. Is we'd throw Shadowland if I don't replace with Gladiator. 
I have to replace the vision, basically. Mm -hmm. And then I can play Quinjet into a tying position. And then Shang-Chi and left to get the little extra bonus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not incredible, but I mean, they have no way to get into... I mean, do we expect... The only thing they could do is Jeff, right, to get into Flooded. You know? True, you're saying, yeah. But no, Jeff doesn't work on Zabu. So actually, we just stay, right? And then you yeah. do play this move. Yeah. Uh, unless they Odin, which I'd Jeff be breaks Marvel. genuinely shocked. Location full, as we calculated. Storm. Storm, but they'll Wind gain the lead here. Unless hand. there's a repeat hit on cost. Oh. Nightcrawler. Not enough. Je there's the Jeff. See, Feels you know, good see, good. that's why that's why you don't hit end turn immediately Victory. off your first play. You talk it through. Yeah. We realized Zabu's a two cost. They can't put Jeff there. This deck doesn't run Odin. So it's not like they're going to slam that down on the Doom. We've ranked up so many times. It's like 40 ranks up, man. <laughs> Just unmitigated success. Have we... We lost the one where we said multiple times we should have retreated. Yes. That's what we did. Is that the, the only one? Yeah, yeah, it is. But, I mean, okay. that one, even so, you should retreat on their snap based on what we got from the Loki. Uh, it was really, yeah. like, it wasn't the worst day, and we still lost to a 50-50. Right. Okay, now you're praying that they have a Jeff in hand. <laughs> yeah, they, they Jeff have something Mirage. flexible or that... Um, oh, yeah, just to take it out right with the Mirage would feel great, but so with the Zabu. Do you really go yeah. for the steal? Or do you just so play Zabu? It, what is... Okay, so you're either looking at Zabu into something like Miss Marvel on uh, 2 and 3, or you're looking at Mirage Coulson. Agent Coulson. I kind of like the, full, the latter being Mirage Coulson. My reasoning is... Right now, we have only one hit with, with Miss Marvel. You can still fit in Zabu on like on five, Gladiator Zabu, if we don't draw Loki, and still be able to do Miss Marvel on six. I'd rather fish for a way to get into Sanctum. And Mirage the problem and is that once I play Coulson, I won't get card draw. Because I'll fill the hand. Oh, yeah, that's right here now. Yeah. Now... Now we know they are another one of these, um, probably Black Knight discard. Yeah. With, uh, which is again a bad matchup for us. So now we don't really care about getting Loki. So right. maybe you just throw down Zabu Quinjet and then play like a Colson next turn to try to get something fun. Yeah. Do what we top deck as well. If they don't play uh, Mobius, we could Loki. We have Mobius. I'll play Mobius. I'll also play Miss Marvel to match theirs. Fairly mm. energy efficient either way. We can do this. We can then play like you, you. Mm. But then I really, I really want to play Mobius by turn five because we know he wants Sarah. So this is what we'll try. Enchantress. I like that. Do much at the moment. That does a lot, though. But no Black Knight in hand. So now they're fishing Root. for... Ooh, Quake is dope. Do this, right? Yeah, that opens Plop up left these, for us to play. Because we're ahead for now. Yeah, but they probably play a card mid, though. So maybe we want Quake uh, or uh, Mobius mid. Oh, you're saying just to get as much power. Yeah, because yeah. they play Sarah, right? They play Sarah now for 10. I'm at 11. I yeah. win. I Quake it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're clawing back the bad matchup. Do you snap on him? I don't think so. Okay. It's the, still too dicey. Yeah. Hella. Oh, soul read. Yep. It's a soul read, Brad. You gaze into his soul. <laughs> and you say, yes, this is the play. It's Mr. Mobius Mid, the, the time cop. The no fun police has arrived. Now, what we do from here, I do not know. <laughs> Uh, it is a, it's a bad final turn, but we'll make the most of it. I mean, actually, you... no, wait, 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 wait. They flip uh, first. Is it just Shang-Chi plus a four cost somewhere? Like, I feel like I'd rather... No, no, no I, I think we throw... If he plays, if he plays Black Knight, or sorry, um... 
if he plays Ghost Rider, I kill it. Yeah, but does that snap say Jeff? To me, to me, the psychology of it is that they play Ghost Rider left because they're already up thirteen to ten. Yeah, yeah, but does that snap say it's Jeff Ghost Rider? I think it's just they play Hella. Oh, you think he's gonna play Hella? Yeah, I think I think it's Hella right, and try to like go for the one and three. Oh, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. But at that point, then don't you want the Shang Chi? I mean, do I you want, want right throw... here? I kind of, I kind of like him left though, because then you throw right. Is that crazy of me? You think this is like more tricksy? Yeah, I, I like the idea of throwing right. Force them to play right, especially. It if, will if benefit this... if it comes to a tie for whatever, but it won't ever come to a tie this way. This way would come to a tie if nothing happens on Hellfire Club. But I can't believe it. Alright, and they... before they go, Jeff goes, oh Magneto! Yes. I forgot that that's a card and I hate that card so much. Yeah, got us. Uh, we lost either way. Brutal. Brutal. Yeah, yeah, we would have lost either way. Well... Yeah, if, playing it there, it still pulls all of it. Because you're still putting. If you had played Shang left and you had played Gladiator right, and you had destroyed whatever you pulled, you would have had a margin of victory victory. Yeah, but that's that the most bad. hindsight yeah. <laughs> way to look at it. If I would have no, done this exact thing, yeah, yeah. now that I know. But I think it was worth playing on the Ghost Rider play and on the um, Hello Flip. Yeah. See, that's. Do you also see a little bit of difference in like both of our mindsets when it comes to the game? Like I love one of my favorite things to do in the game. I love just looking at a location that like feels close, but feels like they need to commit to it. Like it's not, they're not winning by enough where they have to commit more power. I'm like, yeah, I'll throw that location. You can have it. Like I like doing that kind of stuff. Um, I like being ahead at all locations on the. Hey, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, baby. A win's a win, and that's a Quinjet. It's a win. Quinjet the snow guard pretty good. Quinjet's so good, especially with Loki in hand. Uh, next yeah. turn, Zabu. We can go Zabu next turn. And also Quake, we depending on what pops up. We could also play um, Bear, depending yep. on what this location yep. is. So We would not Bear Hell's Kitchen right now because we got all our ones. Angela, you're probably the... Uh, oh. I don't like that. This is... This is bad. Yeah. This could uh, just be Gladiator, no, though. Gladiator because they probably first. run a lot of little guys. However, though, next turn, being able to go, you know, uh, bear something feels cool onto the Central Park. Ah, uh, you're saying try and get an edge here and then yes. bear here when. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. Because they play in. Does it stick? The problem is they could kitty, you know? No. Like, yeah, they could kitty, fill and then but they ooh, obviously hope summers. Uh, yeah, it's only Kitty. I, I don't want to bear it. Yeah. I want to go Loki. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think Shang-Chi's going to do much in this matchup, but we also have a chance of getting theirs anyway. Just right, we just saw they had it. Ms. Marvel is bricked. Um, yep. So let's try and take some value off their deck. Uh, I'm if they run guessing a move card left. Look at that. They're a lot more move than I thought they were going to be. You know Elsa's with yeah. this, too. There's no way she's not. Elsa? Yeah. Yeah. Too bad I didn't get it. Um, I hate this board state. But so Ooh, do much. they... This way we get some extra energy. Yeah, I don't like left, but... Well, you got a 1-5 in Silk that is going to stick wherever you put her. Exactly. The problem is they scale here. Uh, but I do want to fill mid because having stuff of ours move mid is really detrimental on the Craven side. 
my only the only downside is like you're very likely to have priority going to six on this way and i don't think that craven's going to grow enough in in the span of a turn but like actually is it even possible it's not i'm not right? going to shank raven yeah i think so here's the thing because they didn't show kitty and we didn't see kitty on the flip there's actually a higher chance he runs Eliath. Because the move version runs Eliath, the kitty version does not. So having initiative is actually good for us in, right. in my read of the matchup. Uh, do you just vision left? Call their bluff of like moving the vision? Because I mean, yeah. the, the obvious thing is that they move vision mid, right? Yep. And then they plus, play something on 10. top of that. But whatever they play on top of Angela, if they don't, if they move the vision, you're feeling confident in beating with your own vision because they lose eight, go to ten. They have to play something that's at least uh, to eleven power or ten power to beat it. No, no but 11. it's just it's just Magneto. Like Magneto beats us, so does it? When they play Magneto here, I mean, if Plus they play five, Magneto there, sure. But you still have other cards you can play. Yeah, yeah, but then it can't win. So I'm doing, I'm doing this. He moves over. He wins here, and then he wins here, and it's over. It's just it, that's what his play. This is Magneto here. We retreat. Mm. So, but you can't. But leaving the vision there doesn't win either. Right, because they go plus ten. Sag. As long as he has it. This is where you would have liked to not have priority. Because then you could Shang-Chi oh, left. for the Shang? Yeah. 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 But that would have meant playing Vision here. Mm. And I would have been behind behind. But then I'd be victim to Eliath, and we'd be in the same conversation of needing to retreat if he had Eliath, right? It's always about do they have it. Yeah. Which is like, it's a funny thing about Loki. I mentioned this earlier that Loki kind of takes a page out of Sarah control. Because um, Loki really feels very much like a control deck a lot of time that you're playing it. Because of the tech cards you can fit into it and the cost reduction and the ability to read what your opponent's doing and try to play around what they're doing just as much as playing with your own cards. Um, right. I, it just feels like you're playing another version of a control deck. Alternatively, have you tried Sarah control Loki? I, at some point, I'm sure I did. It's really fun. Yeah. And you can just randomly take their stuff and then draw into your cheap control cards. Until they play Mobius, and then it's not fun anymore. Well, I mean, that's you not fun for control. anyone that's running cost reduction. Uh, so mm. they always win on the Abbey. We hate Honestly, our hand. this is all feeling, yeah, just real weak. I mean, here's the thing. is Loki can save almost any bad hand. So we could just go Gladiator or Coulson into Loki and still play the game. Yeah. It's just a question of which one we want. Uh, do you... Now here's the thing. Like Gladiator. Yeah. Do you do you Gladiator left to get a 16 power card that says this is where you need to Shang-Chi? Or do you Gladiator right followed by Loki right to hopefully win Asgard draw more cards? What do you value more? Like, here's where you need to Shang-Chi and I can focus on uh... Abby and Asgard moving forward. Because this is one of those pivot points, right? This 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 decision here, I think, actually determines how this game goes. No, it definitely does. And Thanos is in an overdraw situation, especially with the Abby edition. So I don't think they care too much about getting Asgard. Like, they're not going to get much stronger. Right. I think we could just play here. And now we'll pull Scar and hate our life but then we still double so that's why the shuri's lab kind of gets mitigated on bad pulls yeah with the gladiator right now Ooh. Ooh. Version. No Elias. i'm liking the ink liking the ink deck though gotta give him credit for that what Soul I Stone. Thought it was so good going you have to be. love that pull he's a casual 16 power dude i'm gonna get garbage bread <laughs> i'm gonna get corvus and all this junk I can't Corvus my own stuff, but okay, I also well, can't win without doing Loki. We have to. I Loki. mean, well, your other line is Miss Marvel mid, Devil Dino mid, and then like attack your flanks. Or Just Devil expect Dino. Expect that they don't have Shang on left, you mean? 
Right. Well, I mean, you can you can go Miss Marvel mid, um, and then like Devil Dino mid, and then everything right, and just say, oh, there's a changing now. Yeah, I showed it early. All right. Well, your four costs can come my three cost. I'm okay with that. Especially when you had an energy ramped four. Oh, look at that! You can go super giant. Uh, but I can't play Corvus. Damn. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I can't quite do it. Unfortunate. Oh, brutal! Just one do you more just, energy. Do you just say no risk it, no biscuit? Because <laughs> vision here is so dang good too. It is very good. You can vision it, but then, I mean, we can't win here off of what we have. Blob is super small. What do we draw? We already lost our own Shang-Chi. We didn't get theirs. We draw nothing. Yeah, we're getting either, we're getting max three power next turn. R right, the Blob is nothing. Brutal, brutal. Uh, now the blob left is two, four, six, uh, nine, eighteen. That's eighteen left. Sure, their blob will guaranteed be at least thirty though. Is the problem? Yeah, but then they have to play the blob left. I think presenting the blob left now forces them to play there later, and we can just go other places in the board. I don't know. Like I feel it, this feels bad, but it feels like your best. It feels line. like a retreat. Yeah. Minions to me. That's not crazy. Hey, okay. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on though. What, Brad? We're dead. Four. <laughs> We're super dead. Are we? How are we not dead? Vision left, Corvus right. Corvus right is five power, Brad. Correct. He plays a 30 power blob left. We already said this. Does he have it? He hasn't snapped. He did snap. Damn it. Never mind. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the snap. I'm sorry. Uh, and I only, snapped, I only see two cubes there on the bottom. Right. So I assume we're it's like going we're to four. For two. Oh, okay. No, it's going to four. Oh, man. We should have cut the video at 250. <laughs> but I mean, this, I, we said it in the beginning is that anything discard, anything hella is a bad matchup for us because we make yeah. so much of a poorer use of the cards that we get off the Loki and that Cerebra. they're able to use. So, Cerebra's another one. If you if you see a bunch of cards oh, that yeah. are all twos, threes, or fives, you're not Lokiing that game. I kind of want to snap back. Do it. Oh, Call their bluff. I, I do. Is there a challenge right now in the weekend missions, or I'm sorry, the uh, the daily missions of like you need to? Is it random for everyone, by the way? The missions? No, it's all the same. Okay, like the daily. Uh, ones? Your dailies are random. Okay, maybe the they have the snap on ones, like sorry. the win with a snap thing. They're hoping you retreat. Maybe, maybe they just have the perfect line or on move. What if you just quaked? Because we only have one benefit right now. It's Miss Marvel. Yeah, but she's in hand. I can literally play her next turn. You could also play Coulson or Gladiator next turn. Ooh. Oh, they're they're Phoenix Force. Okay. What is this? Hear me out, though. Hear me out. Gladiator. You gladiator. gladiator. And mess up their place. They snapped because they already have it in hand. But it will be destroyed, right? Either way. Yeah. Unless it's I something would... huge. I would gladiator Probably. left because if you it, yeah. if because if you have the extra benefit, Definitely let's say they play left. Venom right now. If, right. You, if they kill that, then you pull like a Carnage or a Deathlock. Then you also yep. add another thing to the thing. So you have three. Yeah, yeah. Give them one and three. We're gonna pull Nimrod. It's gonna get worse. Excuse me. It's just move. What's going on? It's just move. Wait. Okay. And Chavez. Watch us pull the random card beat? that got buffed by Chavez. The move deck? It is just move. Okay. I do not want to Loki. Yeah, I we would don't prefer want this not to play the move cards. Do you... Shang. Do you Shang now? He has no way of moving this as of right now. Uh, They could go Spider, right? No, they Which can't. Which would pull Chavez. Yeah, you're right. 
they to watch it. Then he actually plays Phoenix Force, and we're like, ah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm just gonna play for tempo. I'm gonna stab him in this, and we just gave them. The... Well, they they could get the uh, the Iron Fist. True, they could, they could, they could. Yeah, that's fine. Just kill it. Kill kill the Human Torch. Make and them then cry. What like Coulson Quake? See what happens on Grand Central. Play Ms. Marvel Loki final turn. Probably. Uh, right. Oh yeah. Get out of here. Now, I think they have they have something in hand. They don't want to hit the, the the board. I think. I think they fill this on purpose. Interesting, interesting. Is there anywhere that you want? Okay, I have a gut feeling that they're going to play something on Grand Central to fill it. So I do you want to quake Grand Central to another position? I think so. I'm down. And then and we then do this to make sure we're right. teed up for Miss Marvel. Yeah. So Loki would be playable in any location. Oh, wait, hold on. Do we want quake Marvel? left just in case the Miss Marvel gets pulled down and we have her go mid? Oh, yeah. Swap that here, play you here. Yeah. It'll be low odds, but you play for your outs. What is this deck? They're unranked, so I think it's just like a low collection level, unserious like player. A little a little breather for us as we go into our no We go into our final game here. Ah, uh, that Valkyrie mid would have been disgusting. <laughs> okay. Full Loki and loses Marvel. Oh no. I mean, you can just go. You just. I mean, you can't pass mid, right? Like it's. That is kind of possible. If you go. Doctor Strange brings over the Gladiator. Okay. That's eleven to fourteen. Another eight. But then you're just playing Human Torch on left to fill in the space and trying yeah, to win a margin of victory. But you don't win mid. You go to 22. What? 5, 8 plus 8. That's 6. Mm. Oh, no. 5, 3. That's 19. 8. That'd be a 24. 16, I would 24. win by 1. Okay, 24. Yeah, I, 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 would win by, I would win by 1 in that position. And then it would just be margin of victory. And Human Torch goes here to fill in the space. Uh, Wouldn't you rather Human Torch right? Because you're losing 8. You're gaining... I'd rather uh, so get you're the plus four. two on Lake. You're at nine. I think. Yeah, I feel like that that's like a losing play almost. If we do all this shenanigans. Yeah, but either way, you're only up by two is my point. Yeah, exactly. So I Do should they play. have any other one costs? I should play here. I don't know. Play here. Yeah, and just strange right. Because it's, it's three to two. Yeah. And it doesn't. Yeah, I like this better. <laughs> Eight cubes on the line, baby, up against the move deck. We made fun of them for so long. Vision to 15. Vision to 15. Your own human torch is going to seal the deal. <laughs> we did it. We're goaded. Uh, that's why you don't play move. <laughs> and why we didn't want Loki. Right. Is, uh, literally, the Ms. Marvel. Because alternatively, mid was we better. had uh, we had that Valkyrie for mid that I oh, loved. Yeah. Was just nutty. A zero cost that it, we could put as well there. How would we win though? We would tie. I don't know if Valk mid was the was the way because we had no Quinjet. Mm. Yeah, but I wanted I wanted to see it happen. I did too. Yeah, dude. Loki's good. Sum it all up, guys. Loki's good. Hopefully that gave you a good read on the different matchups. We didn't get to see the destroy, but we touched on it. Um, we got to see every single card hit the board to, I think, good impact. Uh, we talked through all the reasons of why we would play any given one of these cards. We've talked through all your substitutions if you're interested. And you should feel empowered uh, if you're seeing different decks pop up in your own meta pocket to be able to still tweak this deck into something that can be effective. Yeah, uh, and again, having those three slots primarily to uh, open up for your other tech options. Like Teddy said, if you don't have Mirage, easy to just swap out for something else. If you don't want to run Quake, you don't have to. Um, you can run a Lithe, you can do the super giant thing, you run 
Uh, Iron Lad is pretty much really good in the list. All the hits are pretty good. There are some, you know, instances where you're like, I hope I don't hit this, but you know, that happens. Uh, but yeah, you can do Loki in a lot of different decks as well. You can have Loki always just be like your plan B. We saw that Thanos list running Loki for no reason uh, earlier. Um, so it's just great. It's just a great card. It's not overpowered. It's strong. But because it's so difficult to play uh, to the highest ability, that in its own nature kind of balances itself out. Let Brad know what you guys want to see us backseat game next. And we'll see you guys then. All right. We love you. Appreciate you.